Julia shocks fans with short wedding dress and tennis shoes. Hello guys and welcome to another video. Julia and Brandon from 90 Day Fiancé have decided finally to walk down the aisle. But as the couple have tied the knot, many fans didn't seem to like Julia's short wedding dress and many fans called it weird outfit especially as Julia appears to be wearing tennis shoes. However, many others loved their wedding ceremony and have described it as the most precious wedding out of all 90 day fiancé weddings. Stay tuned and let's dive in into more details about Julia's fairy tale day. Easy Facts Buzz Breathe Entertainment After a season of drama, Julia and Brandon were one of three happy couples to make things official on Sunday night's episode of 90 Day Fiancé. But her wedding dress choice puzzled viewers. Julia and Brandon have pulled ahead to be one of the season's most successful couples. And many fans were happy to see Julia get her happy wedding. Though Brandon draws mixed results from viewers due to his immature edit. Julia is widely beloved by franchise fans. However, many were left disappointed by Julia's ultimate wedding dress choice. While the dancer made for a beautiful bride, her dress left something to be desired for many 90 day fiancé fans. Sunday's episode saw Brandon stepping up and taking the wedding seriously after Julia accused him of not caring about their nuptials. Meanwhile, Brendan's overbearing parents were surprisingly kind as they supported Julia and made sure her parents could digitally experience the wedding. With heartfelt vows delivered, the ceremony was a happy tearjerker. However, Julia's short wedding dress was a far cry from the gorgeous floor-length gowns she had previously tried on while wearing dress shopping. While the stunning dresses she had considered were fancy and flattering, it appeared Julia had to make things do for her 90 days to marry. That means settling for an off-the-rack dress that wasn't as glamorous. One fan shared a screen grab of Julia and Brandon getting married on Reddit with the caption, no, I'd rather go back to Russia with my pride than get married in this dress. Though the criticism was harsh, many commenters agreed that Julia's short wedding dress was a disappointing choice. What happened to all the dresses she tried on at the shop? The short dress looks like something from the Goodwill, one commenter asked. It did, but I think she'd look pretty in most anything. Brandon looked like Pee Wee Herman, but he did behave. Someone wrote back. Another user explained Julia's lack of time to get a custom dress, which resulted in Brandon's mother Betty taking her to a pig store and helping her choose a dress right away. Others had more favorable opinions of Julia's look, with many appreciating the white tennis shoes she paired with the dress for a comfy, fun and relatable look. It's not ideal, but she pulled it off and I thought she was adorable in it. One user commented, don't know what you're all talking about, I loved her look, she made it her own, her tiara and veil were perfect, I even liked it with the denim jacket she wore earlier, quirky and unique, loved it. Another commenter prized Julia, I didn't like the dress but Julia is so pretty, she pulled it off, wrote one commenter, I thought she looked cute in the dress, the sneakers made it like a fun afternoon, another person wrote. Overall, Julia's wedding attire was received far more favorably than that of a fellow season 8 bride Rebecca Parrott. While Julia's wedding dress left something to be desired, the gorgeous brunette still made for a beautiful bride. Julia has pulled ahead as perhaps the most well-liked personality to emerge from the season 8, while viewers have criticized the current season for feeling scripted and overly dramatic. Many favor the Russian dancer for her personality. Not only has Julia walked away with a husband, but she has also gained a friend. Julia and her Ukrainian co-star Yara Zaya appear to have become fast friends. Many 90 day fiancé fans approve of their online friendship and hope to see more of Yara and Julia across other TLC shows after season 8 concludes. What do you think guys about this? Please leave us your comments in the section below so we can know your opinions and don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell for more contents. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.